to Thanksgiving getting the turkey on the table. It's a lot of work, but this morning we got tips, expert tips to make it easier for one of the Tri-State's top turkey experts. Here to talk turkey is our buddy Mike Luca from Luca's Poultry, Fish, and Seafood at Finley Market. Also, Chelsea is here ready to do whatever we need done. My number one clerk. All Just right. go and ask her anything. She knows it all. All right. So where do we where to take us to the to, for the rookie turkey cookers this year? Where are we started? You know what I would do if I was going to want to take the most of the stress away from Thanksgiving? What would you do? Cook the turkey the day ahead. Day ahead. I cooked these yesterday. Okay. Cook them a day ahead. Put them in the refrigerator. They come out. They're cold. It's easy to separate the grease and everything. Make the gravy. Yeah. They slice better when they're cold. Okay. And the whole bit. And you and just get in there. Oh yeah. You just look at you. Well, like like an animal. I yeah. mean that in a great. Thanks. I mean that in a great way though. <laughs> look at you. This was an animal at one time. It was. It was indeed. But you look at that, yeah. and then if you. And so you. So if you a, slice it when it's cold, yeah. it slices real easy. Oh, it does. If you it? slice it when it's hot, it'll crumble. So but you know, some people like that idea, though, of you know having the whole bird there, and, it's and we have like the a, whole bird there. It's like a family, you know, moment when they first carve it and everything. And that's the other thing we're going to talk about a little okay, bit. Okay, but that you're right. That's a that's a much cleaner cut when it's cold. Oh, yeah, there's no, it's there's all, no question. Um, take it apart. I yeah. use my hands. I've cut a few thousand yeah. of these, so it's easy <laughs> to do. I know how. I know where these. the bones are. I know where they break. In Turkey civilization, he's on a wanted poster. I <laughs> keep yep. an eye out for him. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, but here's the other thing. Okay. Small turkeys are in real short supply this yeah, year. Yeah, 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 sure. And because of, it's not very profitable for a farmer to raise a small turkey. Gotcha. This turkey right here was 18 pounds. You okay. know that takes 60 pounds of feed to make that turkey. Really? 60 pounds of feed. Okay. To, it's 25 pounds live, 18 pounds stressed out. All it's right. 60 pounds of feed to raise that turkey. Okay. All right. So actually, so the farmers are not very profitable. So what we was doing, as I showed you that, that was a half a turkey. Half a turkey. So if you only have a small family, four people or so, sure. a half a turkey is perfect. That'll do what you need you to do. You got all what you got. You yeah. got your, all your meat. Yeah. And actually, the way it sits in the roasting pan, you roast on a bed of vegetables. Mm -hmm. It roasts easier. You don't have too much. And actually, a turkey this size or that size will eat better than a 10-pounder. It has much more maturity. Okay. It has more fat. Okay. It has more age to it. It's I like a little, a little bit. Little fat's good. That's right. Good a little flavor. bit of fat, yeah. and that's, that's what gives thing. you the flavor. Yeah. Chelsea, how are we doing? So I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Are we doing yeah. anything? Do we do anything wrong so yet? As far as you can Not tell. Not yet. No. Okay. Okay. We're in good shape. Okay. All right. Okay. They're telling me we got a minute. You got to hit that other turkey. Okay. All right. There we go. So there's right. your boom. Then you hit, and then also yep. there's a bone in half a breast. Okay. So if you only want four or five pounds, that eight or ten, you just boom. get you can get just that chunk. Just that chunk. Okay. And we sell that. We right. sell this. We sell everything like that. Yeah. You got the turkey leg and just right, just tear it in half. Why not? Yeah. You just well, they're a little bit harder to cut. Right. Well, the meat. sure. Yeah, the then you got right your whole there. turkey. Oh my gosh. And I always cook. If you look, have you been have you been working out? You just lifted that thing right up. Look at you. It's only eighteen pounds. Well, Bob. Know, well still, <laughs> lift, with, lift with the knees, not with the back. Be careful. <laughs> but that's a whole turkey. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Right. And then you see how that one slides just down. Tear it off there. A little crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, your your wife getting. <laughs> Yeah, you just, uh, there you go. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Nice, clean cut right off the side. Well, like I say, and then here's the other thing. We only got a minute left. We only do. The fancy French chef, John Robert, told me one time, yeah. you don't come to my restaurant for my food. You come to my restaurant for the sauce. Oh. So, so we got there we, now we're going to talk gravy. All right, okay. wait a couple seconds. Let's talk gravy. That turkey gravy. tastes great. Yeah. But what happens when you? Okay. I'll just. That's where all your flavor is. That's where the magic the happens. Out. Yeah. So, in all honesty, if you want to make a good gravy and you want to order the boom and this tastes great, yeah. make your better gravy. So, it's not so much, I mean, it's about the bird, but it's. Right. I mean, that's a perfect it's as much bird. About slice the gravy. it down. That's nice. That's whatever. But what do you put on top of it? You got to have the gravy. Great taste. You got to have the gravy. Put you the can... gravy on the potatoes, sure. put the gravy on the dressing, everything right on Just cover board. everything in the gravy. Everything. Yeah. Cover everything in gravy. Yeah. So, Agreed. like I say, you don't get, you know, you want to learn and cook a turkey, a little okay. salt and pepper, roast it off. I roast on a bed. Of, I always roast on a bed of vegetables because yeah. the vegetables will render down. Well, and it's heart healthy. It's stock. Well, it's stock, just like you would make stock. Sure. For, 
make your gravy. Sure. And uh, but that's it. What's your number one gravy tip? Number one gravy tip. Get the fat off of it and use the stock right out of the thing. Right out of the pan. Yep. All right. And then uh, plenty of cornstarch to thicken it up and just render it down. All right. I just dip and then it you in. could add a few little things here. Can I just dip this in and eat it? Yeah, you yeah, might yeah, have yeah, go ahead. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Right. <laughs> and if you spill some on your shirt, you remind me of me. <laughs> I am the sloppiest eater anybody's ever met. That's the other thing I love about John Robert. He's the only person who eats sloppier than me. I like it. All about the gravy. Is it White good? Burger. Mm. We'll be right back. <laughs>